Hello everyone, if you are a PC user or PC gamer. Then you might get this error once in your life. If you get this error and you have tried everything on internet but nothing helps you. Then you have came to the right place, in this video I'm going to tell you 11 ways to fix, application error 0xc0007b, and also some bonus solutions in the end of the video, all you have to do is follow the steps carefully and, do everything as told with patience. And then you are good to go. Let's try to solve our problem. So before I show you how to fix this error, I would recommend you to know the cause of this error. So when a user tries to execute any application or game on their Windows system, then 0xc007b error suddenly appears, and stop the user to execute their tasks, this error mainly caused because of mixing up 32-bit environment with 64-bit one, it means you have a 32-bit application, that attempts to load a 64-bit DLL. Such error may also appear while playing PC games such as Watch Dogs, Outlast, and Dead Island. If you are a Windows 10 user then you may also come across with this error, don't worry and be patient, in this video you will get complete solution to get rid of this error, so let's talk about our solution number one. Solution number one, Net Framework. In lots of cases, this error can cause due to Net Framework reasons. So try to reinstall the latest and suitable version of Net Framework. If you are confused then simply go to the video description, and open the link for Net Framework, Then simply download it and install it like a regular program, you have to download it to make sure you have the updated net framework program. I'm saying this again. Watch full video with full attention or this is not going to work for you. Solution number 2. Run as administrator. Some software requires running as an administrator permission. It could fix your error. To run any application as an administrator. Do the following steps. Go to the properties of the application. From the properties dialog box, click on the compatibility tab, mark the run this program as an administrator box, and click on OK. Solution number 3. Install DirectX. Some software and especially games require DirectX software. Though, your PC has the latest version of DirectX, download and install this, from the link given in description. Solution number 4, install Microsoft Visual C++. Try to install Microsoft Visual C++, because this error message may happen when the Microsoft Visual C++ package is not correctly configured. Download the 32-bit and 64-bit of Microsoft Visual C++, from the link given in the description. If you have 32-bit operating system, then install 32-bit one, and for the 64-bit operating system, install the 64-bit one. Solution number 5. Update, Zinput13.dll file. 0xc007b application error occurs when Zinput13.dll file becomes corrupted, or overwritten with another version, which happens to be incompatible. To replace 32 bits Zinput13.dll with an appropriate version. Follow these steps, download 32 bits Zinput13.dll file from the link in the description, Before doing anything, you should first back up your original Zinput13.dll file, and if something didn't go as planned, you can always restore back, copy the extracted Zinput13.dll file, and then go to, C, Windows. And paste the file there. Solution number 6. Try to run the application using the compatibility mode. Sometimes running the application in compatibility mode, can fix application error 0xc007b, 
because it might be possible that the application is not compatible with the newer version of Windows. Let's see how to do this, right click on the application icon and click on properties, select the compatibility tab, and click on run compatibility troubleshooter, and select try recommended settings, click on test your application, and then hit next. And if that didn't work out for you, then you could manually select compatibility mode, and from the list, choose Windows 7. Solution number 7. Disk error checking. Usually, if you perform a hard disk checking process, you can possibly fix this error, you just need to use disk error checking option for this purpose, let's try to do this. Just right click C drive, if it is your system disk, and select properties at the bottom of the list, then select tools, in tools tab, you will find a feature check, that checks the system errors and removes them, you need to click this option. Solution number 8. Check program permissions. If you are using Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or Windows 10, you would be glad to know that here is a handy solution for you to fix this error. You need to check the program permissions and the error will be gone. For this purpose follow the steps. Go to folder of the program that is showing the error. Once you get it, right click on it, select properties at the bottom of the list, select security tab, then click on edit and do the following steps. Solution number 9 Hard disk checking error To fix application error 0xc007b you have to check your hard disk for errors, all you need to do is follow these steps. Search for command. Right click on it and sell it and run as administrator. Type the command. Then type Y and hit enter. For this method restart is required but you can restart later. Solution number 10. Verify system files. You should run a scan to check the system files. It detects and repairs the corrupted or broken system files automatically. Search for CMD and right click. Select run as administrator. Type this command. You should have the patience for some time now, L the verification percentage reaches to 100% and shows you the result. Don't close the window until it verifies all the files. If you get this message then again type a command. After it completes now type this command. Don't close until it completes. Solution number 11. Updates Windows. Sometime this problem may appear due to the update problems, through downloading the updates released by Microsoft, you can install the missing drivers and updates the outdated ones. Type check for updates in the search box. Click check for updates. After clicking that it will automatically download the updates for the Windows, next time you start your PC or restart it, it will update your Windows and you will see improvement. Now after doing all the steps you must restart, to let your window knows about the changes you have made, and one thing I want to clear is. Feel free to use these solutions. It will not do any harm to your computer if you do it carefully, if any of these solutions helps for you then leave a comment to let other people know, and subscribe my channel to help my like I helped you, so let's move on to the bonus tip. If none of the previous solutions help you, then here is the bonus tip for you. I have gave a link in the description, open that link and download the RAR file. After downloading extract it. After extraction you guys can see bunch of DLL files, Now go to the main folder of the program that is causing the error. 
and extract all of the files there. Now check the program, I hope one of these solutions worked for you, just leave a comment to let other people know, and if you have tried all of these solutions and tried everything on internet, then files of your programs are missing or corrupted, you have to uninstall the program, and install it again using different setups, don't forget to check my other videos too, I'm sure you'll like it, thanks for watching.